Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Audit Beat. So in this tutorial, I'll be telling you how to download, install, configure, and use the Audit Beat to get your information into a file. So the link to download Audit Beat is in the description box. There are several different OS you can download as per your requirement. Right now, I'm going to use Windows 64 bit. And once downloaded, I'll get a, a zip file, which I'll extract it. I would suggest you guys to extract it to see program files. Uh, it's it's good repository for all our softwares. So I have done it in my program files as you can see. So I'm going to show you what's inside this particular folder. And there are several files related like Kimana and all. What we are interested in the configuration. So we will be choosing this particular audit beat which is a YML file. So if you can if there is any confusion you can just check it's .yml. So it's basically the entire configuration uh, or you can say the entire data, uh, you know, information what audit beat software is required to do. By default, there are certain configuration which is with it, uh, by which it sets to the Elasticsearch, but we don't require it. We want our use cases to simply take the data of our system and put it into a file. Audit beat comes with several uh, modules link to th those modules can be found in description box right now i'm interested in two things number one is file integrity oh, and number two is system so in file integrity and system modules are written over here every other type of module requires different type of things like file integrity requires paths so uh, there are four paths written already you can remove it or you can add it by your own for example uh, let's suppose i want to add a particular file to monitor so I will simply write see story there is a folder like that in my data in my system sorry so it will start monitoring whatever is happening to that particular folder R uh, remember guys recursion does not happen now I'm going to hash or everything else like set up Kibana set up Elasticsearch everything because I am I do not require it to contact to any of my local host server or any app port because my use case is simple I want everything written to a particular file so once done let's go and create an output remember guys if you don't create an output it will show a through a message or through an alert or through an error while you start the audit beat so uh, let's create a stanza output to a file so let's create so output dot file colon and here we are going to write two things the first is path the path where my um, you know the output file will be created so I have this C temp actual data already created in my system and uh, then the file name that that means by which name the file will be created so it's pretty simple it's file name not path so file name audit beats I'll add an S after that so that there is no confusion I'll just save it and then we need to just go to our PowerShell and start the service so let's go to our system PowerShell open it with administrator rights okay guys you wanted to run it as an administrator okay come on all right let's go to our audit beat where our audit beat is installed so it's in program files audit beat let's start the service so we'll write start hyphen service capital s service audit beat and enter it might be possible that right now it throws an error because your powershell is not allowing any kind of such file changing or file monitoring scripts running on your system so you can just change the settings link to that particular setting is provided in the description box you can see and check how to do that so right now in my c temp actual data audit beats name folder is create uh, file is created right now it's showing 0 kb let's open the file to see what's happening because it's getting updated in the back end I'll show you that too. The file size is changing very fastly, very, you know, in a very haste. So let's open it.
sublime text okay so the file which was showing zero kb is now actually getting filled with lots of lots of data let's minimize it and see what's actual file size right now so it's 572 kb so that's how audit bill will go on checking all your system and all and your system properties let's stop the service so that our computer does not waste its, waste its energy so guys hope you like the video please subscribe to the channel for such informative content till next time bye bye